Hey guys, how you going? Just a quick update on uh, my restoration, refurbishment if you like, of this um, torch on the ES335 style guitar. Completely took all the bits and pieces off, cleaned them up, made some adjustments, I adjusted the truss rod, which is behind this bit here. In order to do that, I used a metal ruler. Very simply put it on the frets to give me a, an idea of if it's um, straight or not. So I did that, and um, yeah, I went clockwise and anti-clockwise. Which way do you go is always confusing. So use your ruler. You'll know if you're going the wrong way because it won't touch in the middle or it'll rock from side to side. So you're looking for a straight cross. So anyway, you'll work it out. Don't panic, it's organic. Um, also uh, replaced the nut altogether. There's the old nut. That's a um, that's buster nut, that one there. The buster nut, look, I don't know, they were filed pretty low and they were nearly touching the fretboard. So I put a new one on there. And um, I've got a sort of technique of, of fitting them up too, but I'll go through that in a different, at a different time. But I'm conditioning the fretboard. I'm using this product here, Dunlop 65 Lemon Fretboard Oil. It's a great product. It's got a little applicator on top. It's really economical. Just rub it on the middle of the fret there, in the middle of the fret, give it a nice clean up. I leave it to soak and then I've just left the rest of them to soak, as you can see, and then I just buff it off with that. So before I did all this, I polished all these frets up, and um, I used a, like a very, uh, very, there it is, just grabbed, I used a very, um, a very professional type of polish for this that uh, I'm sure no one's ever heard of. That's right. Brasso. Yep, look, that just works fantastic. Brasso on a rag. And that'll polish your frets up beautiful. That's the other secret ingredient. Look, any other metal polish you've got will be fine too. Make sure you clean your fretboard off. So I'm conditioning this fretboard right now. I let it to soak. So um, that's what I use on the fretboard. On the body of the guitar, I've given it a spray. I use this one. Ernie Ball Instrument Polish. It's a polish and a cleaner. Um, it's superior. I used to use Fender Guitar Polish. It's very much a similar brand. But them two products, I mean, they last ages. And uh, look, you can clean the body up with whatever you want. However, a lot of the Mr. Sheens and that, they leave a, a silicon residue on your guitar and you're forever wiping it and it attracts dust. Don't know what this formulation is. Or what the fender formulation is but it doesn't leave that waxy residue so if you're gonna polish your guitar up or hit it with cutters or something just make sure you you do the whole job and then finish it off with this instrument polish because it doesn't leave a residue I haven't completely wiped it off but there you go that's what I use to condition my guitar so I've also adjusted the intonation, but I'll go through that in a later date. I've replaced the pickup ring on this one. The spring for the Bigsby arm. I'm still looking for a, a knob. Pulled everything apart, cleaned it up. I've tested the electric, it all works fine. So um, there we are. That's all we have. I also removed the Bigsby arm and I gave that polish with your name. Hey, you guessed it. That's right, I gave that a polish up with Brasso. So, I didn't want to overdo it either. Don't want to over polish it, or else it won't look, um, it won't look sort of, it won't tie in with the sort of vintage style look of the instrument.